Hello, today we're going to be making an ombre acorn with air dry clay. My name is Ladera McKinnon, a teaching artist at Clay Works in Charlotte, North Carolina. This video is presented by Clay Works in Charlotte, North Carolina and sponsored by Culture Blocks, a community partnership between ASC, Charlotte Mecklenburg Library, Mecklenburg County Park and Recs, to bring arts and culture experiences closer to where residents live. Culture Blocks is funded by Mecklenburg County. What came in your kit is air dry clay, acrylic paint, a skewer, and a paintbrush. What you will need from home, a workspace, a small dish of water, and items found around the house for texture. Our first step is to break off about one third of your clay. And then we're going to be rolling each piece of clay into a ball. You can roll your clay in your hand back and forth, or you can use your surface to roll it on your table to get it round. And I'm gonna do this to both pieces of clay. Since our balls of clay are rolled out, we're going to pull off just a small portion of clay from the larger ball for the stem for our acorn. And just roll that little piece of clay into a ball. And now we're going to start to make a pinch pot. Pinch pot, a technique of putting your thumb in a ball of clay and pinching from the bottom up to create an opening in your clay. We are going to start with the larger ball of clay you can reshape it how I did. You're going to take your thumb and go straight in the center and start from the bottom up and start pinching. When we pinch this pinch pot, we want to pull the clay upwards instead of going outwards to make it wider. We want this to be a little bit taller because acorns are a little bit more round. So I am gently pulling that clay up as I pinch. And I want this to be about a pinky's width of thickness. And it doesn't matter what the rim looks like right now because we're going to be covering up with the lid anyway. So just keep on pinching and I'm kind of smoothing as I go. I'm smoothing out the rim just a little bit so it's even. All right, so the bottom of our acorn looks good. Now we're gonna work on the top of the acorn that's gonna cup on top of it. When we pinch this pinch pot, we want this to be wider because we want this to overlap on top of the bottom of the acorn. So when I press this one, I'm really pressing that clay outward so it gets wider. And you want this pinch pot to start looking like a small bowl. And every now and then, test to see if your smaller pinch pot is wide enough to fit on top of your other pinch pot. So mine didn't fit so I'm just going to tap it on the table and start pinching a little bit more. Since I just tapped my smaller pinch pot on the table I'm going to be smoothing out the inside and pressing outward so it gets wider instead of Pinching. And I'm going to test and see if the lid of my acorn fits on top. And it does so now I'm just going to attach it by squeezing it together I'm not going to slip and score it together 
Score and slip. Score, the process of incising surface of wet or leather hard clay in a cross hatching pattern before applying slip in adjoining clay. Slip is watered down clay used for joining clay together. For this project, we are using water. A lot of water that I just used to smooth it out. So that's really like a slip that is going to attach them. Now we're going to create our stem by rolling our extra clay into a coil. Coil, a rolled out rope of clay like a worm or a snake. Take your clay and roll it back and forth in your hand as if you were cold. Since we want our coil to look like a carrot, one of the ends we are going to roll a little bit more than one end. And that's going to create a carrot shape. Then on the thicker end, you're going to tap it on your surface to make it flat so we can be able to attach it. When I make this stem, I'm smoothing out the edges so it can be attached flush. So now I'm going to score using my cross hatching on the top of my acorn and the stem and then tap on a little bit of water when I attach this I'm going to wiggle it back and forth just a little so I know it's attached then you can gently pull it to see if it will come off if not you're good to go then you're going to just smooth out any imperfections on your stem where you just attached or any of the pinch pots that we just attached as well. This is also a great time to reshape your acorn by rolling it on its side to give it more of a pointy edge if you want. And then we're going to let this dry for about 24 hours before we paint it. We are going to be painting our acorn in an ombre palette. That means that our acorn is going to be dark to light and we're going to be blending those colors. I want mine to go from yellow, orange to burgundy. I'm just mixing up an orange that I like and you can mix up any colors that you like as well. Yours can also be different blues that go dark to light as well. I have my colors mixed up. We're going to start with our lightest color first and I'm just putting yellow all over about one third of my acorn. Then I'm going to add my orange. I'm not cleaning my brush at all. And this is your medium color and we're going to do that about one third as well. You can start to overlap on top of the yellow just a little bit. Now that I have my medium tone color, I'm going to go ahead and add my burgundy. And I'm overlapping on top of my orange. And that's going to start to blend just a little bit. And when you blend, you're just going back and forth until those colors are seamless, meaning that they are not divided how our yellow and orange is right now. Since my orange is getting a little too blended, I'm adding more orange on top of my red and orange that I blended together. Now I'm going to rinse my brush really well and start adding a little bit more of my yellow orange that I mixed earlier and a little bit more yellow so it looks a little bit more seamless. If you do this and your paint is dry, you're going to have to really work it out by adding a little bit more water. That's what I'm doing right now and you see that my yellow is starting to pop out a little bit more now. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of just plain yellow to make my colors a little bit more vibrant. This is called glazing. 
because my yellow is transparent I can see the orange and burgundy through the yellow and I'm gonna do this all over my acorn I have a little bit of orange that is out of the palette. I'm adding just a hint of that on my acorn because it's different than the orange that I made. And this really makes your ombre pop out. And you can go back and forth between adding dark and light as long as there's a gradual light to dark with your acorn's colors. You're gonna let your piece dry just a little bit before painting the top. I let mine dry for about five minutes. Tan and brown to get the top color for my acorn. Yours can be any color that you want. I wanted to give a little bit more of a realistic acorn color since I did ombre for the bottom. And you're just gonna paint the whole top. Now that the top has dried, I'm going to add yellow all over the bottom. This is going to make the colors look very vibrant and the bottom is dry as well. Once you do that, you can touch up any part that you would like that you missed or colors that overlap that you didn't want if you want things to be darker or lighter. And there you have it, an ombre acorn. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. And thank you to our partners.